Hello everyone and welcome to another CSS tutorial. In a previous lesson uh, we learned how to create this layout, this two column layout, and I promised that in the future I would show you how to spice up the navigation. So that's what we're doing in today's tutorial. Let's take a look at the code we use to create the navigation. Um, it's nothing more than an unordered list with list items inside and with hyperlinks inside the list items. The CSS we use to create it consists of removing the margin and padding from the unordered list, giving it a background color of yellow, uh, and then the list items are simply floated left, we removed the bullets, and we gave them padding right. This is what it looks like. So I think our first bit of business should be to remove the padding from the list items and add the padding to the links themselves. Remove the padding, and we'll give each link 10 pixels padding all the way around. And we refresh, and we see that the links received horizontal padding, but not vertical padding. And this is an important lesson. That's because they're inline elements, and we need to make them block level elements. So we add a new line of code targeting our links, and it's display block. Refresh and now they can receive vertical padding. Let's go ahead and give each link um, a right border to separate them. So we go into our color picker. This is just um, HTML color codes.info. If you don't have Photoshop, it's a good way to choose hexadecimal colors. Alright, this looks good. Copy that color, border right, one pixel, solid, and then pound sign, and we paste in our color code, and we refresh our page, and now each one has a border. Let's add a hover style to our links. We create a new CSS rule, nav, list item, A, and then our pseudo selector, instead of link or visited is going to be hover and then whatever we put inside these brackets will control the way the links look when you hover over them so let's give them a different background color if you hover over them and we'll go and pick a new color how about a, a darker a darker clay color And also the color should change to yellow when we hover. So we refresh, and that's working quite nicely. And I think this is a good place to stop for today's lesson. Um, granted, the yellow navigation still looks hideous, but now you have the tools. You know how to create the navigation. You know how to pick different colors. And so it's up to you to create a navigation that is not a hideous yellow. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you feel like you learned something. And stay tuned for more CSS tutorials.